diabetes. I can reverse diabetes. I often call type 2 diabetes a lifestyle, whereas type 1 is actually not a lifestyle disease. Lifestyle changes make such a huge difference. Today, I will be talking about diabetes. Did you know that diabetes actually had two types? So are you a type one or are you a type two? Basically, type one and type two share something in common is that they actually have similar symptoms. It's only further diagnosis to determine if you're a type one or type two. So what are the common symptoms? You're always hungry. You are hungry so much that you eat so much more, but you notice that you have quite a fast weight loss without intention. Third is that you are peeing. You go to the washroom to urinate quite often. And fourth is you're always thirsty. And the one final thing is, despite you eating a lot, drinking a lot of water, you feel exhausted. So if you have those five symptoms, my suggestion is go and see a doctor and to get your blood work done. So let's talk about type one and type two. People who are diagnosed with type one make little to no insulin and people who are type 2 do make insulin but the insulin does not work properly. That's what we know as insulin resistant. Majority of people actually diagnosed with type 2 which is 90 to 95 percent. So it's a very small percentage of people who are 5 to 10 percent are diagnosed with type 1. And most people when they know that they're type 1 they're much younger in age. Majority are under 20 years old. We do have the exceptional where some people are in their 40s and they found out that they have type 1 diabetes. I often call type 2 diabetes a lifestyle disease, whereas type 1 is actually not a lifestyle disease. A combination could be genetic or it could be a autoimmune condition. Suddenly where their um, pancreas stopped making insulin. And because when we eat food that contains carbohydrate, it breaks down to sugar. Sugar needs to be stored into the cell. And the thing that brings the sugar into the cell requires insulin. So think about insulin as a key. Type 1 has little to no keys, whereas type 2 has keys, but the keys are not working. Both of them, you, you do blood tests, but in type 1, you do one more test called C-peptide just to see how much insulin you're making. If you're not making enough insulin, then you're pretty much a type 1. With treatment with type 1, as simple is because you don't make insulin, you need to inject insulin every time you eat food. Whereas type 2, they do make insulin insulin but the insulin doesn't work as well so lifestyle changes make such a huge difference lifestyle changes could be the way you eat when you eat how much you eat how often you eat your activity level your stress level your sleep pattern all this can impact your blood sugar so with type 2 you see there's a lot more emphasis and in fact type 2 there's a lot of things that you can do and controls in your hand to control your blood sugar and that's why nowadays you often hear people say I can reverse diabetes why are you able to reverse diabetes is because truthfully your body still makes insulin it says that your keys are not working well well, we just have to change the lifestyle so the keys are working well again. Whereas type 1, you just don't have keys, so there's nothing we can do about it, except you need to borrow keys, which that means you need to inject insulin. This is something that I'm passionate about because I truly believe that if you are willing to make those lifestyle changes, you will see the amazing result from those lifestyle changes where you can truly reverse diabetes. And for that, hope this helped you clarify the difference between type 1 and type 2, and understand that majority, of, if you are having high blood sugar, you most likely to be type 2. Okay, until then, next time, I will share more what kind of lifestyle changes in specifically can we do to manage our blood sugar better. If you have friends who have high blood sugar and not sure they're type 1 or type 2, you can definitely share this video so that they can learn more about that. I always say, means that you eat well and live well, so you eat nutritiously so that you live your best self. And until then, I will see you. Bye everyone! Oh, why am I doing Cantonese? <laughs> you scared me a little too. <laughs> okay, why am I doing that?